And that's about as much Manchu I know. Unfortunately, Manchu is a dying language, and there are still people attempting to revive this language. Me, I'm not a, I'm not a linguist, but I want to revive Manchurian archery, which is rarely practiced today. It is an important activity historically for the early Manchurians to practice archery. Today, we're going to be reviewing one of the lowest budget Manchurian bows out there for a decent quality, and that is the Manchu Yarkha by Ali Bo. I think this will be a great bow for beginners to try out. Before I talk about this bow, I want to talk about the history of Manchus and their archery briefly. During the 17th century, Norhasi, a chieftain of a Jokchen tribe, began a campaign against the Ming Empire. He unified the Jokchen tribes and established a military system called the Eight Banners, which organized Jokchen soldiers into groups of bannermen. Now the transition of one Jokchen people were called Manchus started after his son, Hong Taiji, began driving Ming forces out of the Liaodong Peninsula. The Qing Empire lasted for almost three centuries and formed the territorial base for modern China. So now that we talked briefly about history, let's talk about their bows. Although other bows were used by the Manchus, what we call today as the Manchu bow is a type of reflex composite static recurve bow historically used in Manchuria and later spread to Mongolia, southern China, and Tibet during the Qing dynasty. It is characterized by very large siyas, long draw length, prominent string bridges, and the use of very large and heavy arrows. The Manchu bow shoots heavy arrows the fastest compared to most bow designs. Basically, the force draw curve of the Manchu design has a higher area than most other bows. A heavy arrow can take advantage of efficiently transferring this maximum potential energy, while a light arrow will suffer due to the heavier Sia weights. But in a nutshell, Manchu bows shoot heavy arrows faster. Now let's talk about the Manchu Yarha I am reviewing today. So we have the Manchu Yarha from Ali Bow. This is their heaviest one they make. They do have the Imperial Strength Ball. I already made a video about it. Um, those are, the original ones aren't really Manchu. It's more like a Qinghai because the, the, the uh, CIs were really short. The one I ordered, I, I purposely asked them to increase the CI lens. Here's their Manchu bows that are fiberglass. And by the way, they're making a laminated one. But I can't spoil anything else. Um, here is the Ali Bo Yarha. Could be a little higher for a Manchu bow, should be about there. Uh, it's a little short for a Manchu bow, the brace height. That's a very affordable price, fiberglass limbs. And I want to practice more with starting with the fiberglass one. The Imperial Strength Bow is more for pulling. It's not really a shooting bow. You can shoot it, arrows don't go fast, because the, the, the CS, they, the, they make the CS so thick, and the string bridge is so thick, like, it's not an efficient bow, obviously. They don't design it for shooting. They don't, I mean, it's for durability. And this 60 pounds at 35, I think is, is okay. I put a piece of, um, like all my bows, I put a piece of tape. So as an arrow pass, they already have an fish skin arrow pass, but I don't even want to wear out their arrow pass. So I put on a piece of tape on top of that. So it extends the life of the their arrow pass. And snake skin, apparently it's real snake skin, uh, which is nice to hear. Um, wooden uh, siyas and you can see the knocks are painted black I don't think it's a horn I think it's painted um, well let's shoot this thing beautiful bow fairly reasonable draw weight 
Now, here's my Manchu ring by Vermil. And you're, it's really weird in the beginning to learn to shoot Manchu rings. Whew. It's very weird, but I get used to it. So which one's the top limb and which one's the bottom limb? Well, they have fish skin on both sides, kind of telling you, well, you can shoot both sides. And if you look, it's very symmetrical. So I talked to Ali Bull. They said, basically, you can shoot both sides. It doesn't really matter. Ooh. Nice. These arrows are 1,000 grain. You jam cotton or salt inside, and that's how you get that weight. 250 spine. Close through the target. Heavy arrows. <laughs> awesome bow. It's hard to aim with this thing. <laughs> I gotta get used to the mantra aiming. It's a fun bow. I'm just not used to the mantra anchor point and aiming with the mantra ring with the mantra draw length. Gotta get used to that. It needs more practice. It's a lot harder and I'm opening both eyes. I'm not closing one eye. So trying to aim with like that, it's, it's pretty challenging. So I gotta get used to it. Ha <laughs> hit. Oh, that nice. <laughs> wow, all three hit. My ring flew out though. Uh, I think my hands are getting sweaty, so my ring flew out. 1,000 grain. <laughs> you put salt inside and you can really get some weight into this 35 inch arrow. So in summary, what do I think about the Manchu Yarha? I think it's a great bow for beginners to try out Manchurian archery because it has that draw length up to 35 inches. In fact, you can get an extra draw long to 37, 38 inch draw lengths, which should be long enough for most people's arm spans. Um, so that is amazing uh, it, it, right off the bat. It can go up to 60 pounds at 35 inches, which is still lower than historical average Mantra draw weights. But I think for a beginner starting out with Mantras, that's enough draw weight for most beginners. But they do have draw weights, you know, as low as 30 pounds for beginners, which I think is great. It is not the most accurate representation of historical Mantra and bows, but for the price you're paying, it's great to practice the style of archery because it can be pulled to the draw lines that most people would consider historical for Manchurian archery. And it's got the general shape of these historical bows. I will be reviewing other bows in the future, so stay tuned for my channel and please like and subscribe. Thank you, this is Jack from Historical Archery.